Good evening, my friends. I want to share with you a really important transition point that it trips a lot of people up in recovery. So as we go through this process of limbic rewiring and brain retraining, at the beginning of the process, the amount of time this is varies for everybody. We are necessarily living in response to our limbic systems. We're having 24 seven activation. It's pops, you name it, there's symptoms everywhere, stuff flying everywhere, and it requires constant uh, vigilance and responsiveness from us. And when you're really in your process, you don't stop because you're still uncomfortable, right? <clears throat> there comes a point though, for a lot of folks, pretty much everybody, where your symptoms are not, you don't have a, a pitchfork behind you, pushing you forward anymore. And it's really easy to kind of get stuck because it's like, wait, do what am I doing now? Like, I, I feel better. Should I stop doing my practice? Do I stop now? What do I do now? And in order, at this point, you're not fully rewired yet, right? We're not fully regulated. Our stress switch is not off. And if you stop your practice, you're going to end up symptomatic again pretty shortly. So the key is that we're shifting from living in response to the limbic system to living from what we desire. You are re- uh, attaching your motivation to something different. Instead of being motivated by discomfort, you're being motivated by what you want. And the key here is to proactively use your tools to create the life you desire. So at this point, and, and this is helpful at any point in recovery, but especially at this point, you want to really hone in on what experience do you want to have of being alive? What do you want to be doing with your time? How do you want to feel? What do you want your mornings to feel like? What do you want your work to feel like? What do you want your relationships to be like? Start to feed yourself, feed your imagination with images and ideas and visualizations of the things that you want your life to feel like and taste like and look like and be like. And let that be, then you use your tools to create that. Let's say that you really want to have peaceful mornings and slow mornings. So you practice, you visualize it, you make sure that you do rounds first thing in the morning or elevate first thing in the morning until that happens or literally anything. But at this point, it's very, the only way to keep moving forward is to hook your motivation onto something that's ahead of you. So it's pulling you forward instead of being pushed forward by your discomfort and activation. This is really key. This is like the transition usually between stage one and two. So if you're in that stage, that's how to keep that momentum moving forward. Love you guys.